Okay, today is day 15. Woo! I can't even believe that I'm almost done. So I've got to tell you, I'm going to be totally honest. I am brutally sore. I am so tired. Uh, man, working out 14 days in a row and now on day 15, um, my body is telling me, but you know what? I am hydrating properly. I am fueling my body to power me through each day, especially while I complete this challenge. That's the most important thing that you need to do, that I need to do, to get us through um, body recovery and just daily functions, even mental functions. Um, that's really important. So I want to also tell you that it's so cloudy outside, so you keep probably seeing the lights um, uh, coming in and it's dark and then it's light and then it's dark. I'm so sorry. That will all change when we move next week. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. A lot of you have been telling me, man, you're so real, you're so, I, I feel like I know you. You know what? That's, that's what this is about. I'm holding myself accountable on purpose publicly because A, I want to be able to inspire you. Um, I want to be able to hold myself to this fitness journey. I want to get there and I'm so excited that I can take people along with me. So, hey, you know what? You are, you're awesome. And I have so enjoyed meeting you on um, Instagram and Facebook and I can't wait to meet the rest of you. Uh, anyway, let's get started. Unique movements. I've got six moves, 33 minute workout, um, 50 seconds on, 10 seconds rest. So let's get started. <laughs> the first movement is you're going to get in this position right here. So watch this. You're going to click and then click, click, click. These are called heel clicks. So now I always say this, keep your abs tight, especially in movements like this and make that jump count. So click. When you do this, you want to hear that click. 20 seconds, and don't stop. This is round two for me, 15 seconds. Whew. And with yesterday's workout, my legs are on fire. Okay. So, what are we doing? Okay, we're doing plank position. Get in your plank position. Now, hand directly below the shoulder, feet together, and you're gonna jump up to your left elbow, to your right elbow. Back to plank, right left, <laughs> and then right. So, make sure that you force those feet to stay together, and that you use your abs to get through that jump. Almost done, 15 seconds. Whew. This is tough, but I will not stop. Five seconds, Whew. Oh. yes, okay. So this next one, you probably have seen before, but I'm gonna kick it up a notch. These are hip raises. So left leg on the floor, right leg extended. Make sure you get the booty tap <laughs> to the floor. So tap and then back up, squeeze, hold. Squeeze and hold. Feel it in your glute. Focus on that muscle and lift. Get those hips up. You want a direct, straight body line. Now, you could also elevate your standing leg and place it on a chair, on a stable object, on a workbench, but I didn't have anything like that here. So we're doing the standard hip raise. Other leg, right leg on the floor, left leg extended, raise, hold, tap, raise and hold. Make sure that you're pushing and driving through that heel to get those hips up. If you don't feel this in your glutes and your hamstrings, you're not doing it right. <laughs> now, I also want to say that you could do any movement, and if it looks easy and it feels easy, then you're probably doing it wrong. 
just to be honest. That's why I always say, mentally, focus on what you're doing and engage those muscles. Five seconds. Whew. Almost done. Wow, that's an awesome booty exercise. <laughs> okay, curtsy lunge. So there are tons of variations to a lunge. This, I'm going to keep my hips straight with you. I'm going to lunge back, and then I'm going to kick back, and then just kick. So it's most important that you, again, oh my gosh, I have a broken record, aren't I? Keep your abs tight. That's what keeps you stable during movements like this. Drop low appropriately. Keep your form in line. Your back is straight. Your shoulders are high. Now I'm holding 10 pounds. You can certainly um, change that up. You don't have to use weight at all. You can add more if you choose. But keep your hip line straight and lunge back, low kick, low kick. This is another one where if you aren't controlled and you just swing that movement, it's not going to be as effective as you need it to be. So keep your mind in the game and slow and controlled. Work your form first, then go for speed. Okay, 15 seconds. Woo, I can feel this. Oh my gosh, it's gonna burn tomorrow, especially with yesterday's workout. But we're almost done. One more. Ugh. So, you know what? That's it. It's those six movements. Um, Four more rounds is what I'm doing. 50 seconds on, 10 seconds rest. One minute rest in between each round. That's it. This is round two for me. I'm not sweating as much as I, I was yesterday because yesterday was 100% all cardio. But I'll tell you what, the more muscle you build, the more you're gonna burn throughout the day. So ladies, don't be afraid of weight, especially your own body weight when you're working out. So you know what to do, don't wait any longer, press play again, go do it, <laughs> and go get fit wasted. Mwah.